Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 80 of Direwolf20's Enigmatic 2 Expert Mode series. Uh, where today I want to get into fusion reactors, if that's at all possible. Uh, so what I decided is I... I I kind of wanted to have like a little island separate away from my base, so I've done a little terraforming on the island that's been kind of opposite my 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 uh, my Batania area, right? So you can see there's my Batania area right over there. I've done a little terraforming around here to set up a bit of a relatively flattened out island. Um, I didn't completely flatten it, but I mean we've got like some decent uh, real estate to work with, and uh, you know as needed, I might just expand this dude out. Right, we can always just do that um, and expand him out a little bit more. All right, that's kind of what I've been doing. Surprisingly low on dirt, just saying. Surprisingly low on dirt. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been kind of playing with off camera for the last few minutes. Figured I'd uh, just try and prepare to be a little bit, a little bit organized. So, so last episode or two, uh, I mentioned a need for a nuclear craft building, um, but I don't even know if those videos have gone live yet at the point of recording this. So, uh, you know, don't have one yet. But I'm, uh, I'm assuming that we'll get a nuclear craft building at some point. So what I'm going to do is build the fusion reactor over here. Probably move the power storage thingy over here uh, from mechanism, and then kind of go from there. And uh, once we get a, a building set up, then what I'll do is just move everything inside the building. And ideally, I don't have to move the fusion reactor because, as I recall, when you break the fusion rings, there's like a liquid that spills out. But I don't know if that's only when it's running or what the deal is. But hopefully I can at least build the building around the existing nuclear reactor. And if not, then uh, we'll just figure it out. Cool. So for now, we're just going to have a, a nuclear reactor outside exposed to, you know, the rain and the elements because that sounds like a good time, right? That sounds safe. Like, just put this nuclear reactor out. Out in the middle of nowhere, right? But, I mean, it's fusion, so it should be totally fine. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, that, that, you know, that makes perfect sense. Guys, don't question it. It's all good. Hey, I never turned on my Flux Networks charging thing, did I? Uh, let's put you on. Uh, where's this dude? So that's Direwolf's network. Wireless charging enabled? Huzzah! Huzzah! Fully charged flux capacitor. Technically don't really need to carry that thing around anymore. Uh, only because, like, any items that need charging now will be charged directly by that thing. How cool is that? I like it. Alright, so wireless charging enabled. We are ready to start playing with a nuclear reactor. So, uh, to get this thing up and running, we're going to need some electromagnets and a fusion core. Um, and then some fusion connectors. Right? Um, and from what I kind of remember is you place the, the nuclear reactor in one spot, right? Um, and then, or the fusion reactor in one spot, you're going to need some connectors, some fusion connectors, right? Because we did this in Modern Skyblock a little bit. Um, so let's get the fusion reactor built first, and we're going to teach this thing how to make the connectors from nuclear craft. Right, because this is the fusion connector. Connects the fusion core to its ring of electromagnets. Four sets of them are required for each side of the core. Okay. So we definitely need to know how to make one of these, right? And then we need the electromagnets, right? Um, so the fusion electromagnet requires 50 architect to stay active. Transparent fusion electromagnet. Oh, you don't say. Superconducting electromagnet. Interesting. I'm not sure about the difference between those things. So that's that recipe. Does this thing... Oh, well, you just need a piece of glass in the middle. I like transparent. I like transparent as much as the next guy. But look, there's also a recipe down here where you just combine this with glass. So it's the same thing. So what I'm probably going to do um, is just teach that recipe like this. So that way we know how to make both the regular fusion electromagnet and the glass version one. And superconducting, I don't know if we need these, but magnesium diboride sounds like a complicated phrase. Uh, and I'm afraid of it, so I'm going to hold off on it because I don't know what that's for uh, or if I need it. Hopefully I don't. Cool. All right. So that was easy peasy, right? We should be good with that. Um, fusion reactor. Fusion, 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 fusion core. This is the center of the whole setup, the central part of the multi-block reactor. 
Okay, so to make one of these guys, we're going to need another elite plating, right? Uh, two chemical reactors, a machine chassis, and one of those magnesium diboride dudes. Diboride dudes. Let's teach you how to make that. Do you know how to make magnesium diboride? You know tough alloys. Magnesium diboride is magnesium and two boron. Okay, well, that's easy enough. See, that wasn't so bad, was it, Direwolf? Not bad at all. Alloy smelter right there. And you are just a regular old crafting pattern. So you should be able to get your magnesium diboride dudes. We'll get two of them. Uh, we need one of the machine chassis things. Um, and what else do we need for the fusion reactor? Oh, right, two chemical processors. We need two servo mechanisms. It doesn't look too bad recipe-wise, right? Uh, so two of you, two motors, two more chassis. Uh, chemical reactor. Oh, you already know how to make those. Well, would you look at that? Cool. So let's just get two of them, shall we? Um, after all the stuff I asked for a second ago gets done. Start. Make me two chemical reactors. Nice. I don't know when I taught it how to make chemical reactors, but I'll take it. So that means we just need those two chemical reactors and we should be good. Nice. So that should get us the fusion thing we need. So give me a minute. I'm going to just real quick research how many of these, um, fusion electromagnets we need. I like that they're transparent though. That's cool. Uh, and we'll be right back. Hey, hey, achievement get. Goal reached. Star in a box. All right. Hey, sheep, I need to uh, temporarily transpose your um, existence. Because I can't have sheep hanging around my fusion reactor. Sorry, dudes. It's it's the way of the world, you know? I mean, it's, it's just a standard, you know, can't be having sheep chilling around a fusion reactor. I think that's, I think that's definitely some kind of policy. I'm not sure by who, but you know. All right guys, so here's what we need. Uh, we need some connectors. We need like eight of those. So that should be, what? How, how are we out of, there's no way that we're out of coal. We're not automatically using coal for anything, are we? Are we really out of coal? Where'd all my coal go? Steel maybe? Nah. Wherefore art thou coal? Coal is missing? Explain. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove you and start using a plug over here. Cause yeah, Daryl 20's network. Reset. So let's just get all the ores, right? Yeah. Cool, you got nothing going on. So stop, reset, break. Come with me, buddy. We are going to a uh, whole new world. So like, this has a 32 block radius, right? So we wanna go basically 64 blocks in a specific direction, right? So let's go to like, here-ish. That should be cool. Okay. So specifically what we want is coal. There you go, you're gonna get all the ores now. But uh, wow, coal, really? We're out of coal? How's that even possible? Should I have silk touch on you? Or should I have this guy like, what I could do what I could do is use my other digital miner. And instead of saying like, give me all the ores, give me just the ones I want, like the one that we're short on, which is coal. Where's my other digital miner? Didn't I have another one? I must've left him on a planet somewhere. He's probably farming something, who knows what. All right, you get to stay. I'm just gonna reprogram you to get what I need. So I'm gonna configure you. We're gonna delete all these item filters. And we're gonna do, I'm assuming it's ore coal. 
save. And inverse mode is off. So now you should only be getting coal, right? But I'm gonna silk touch it, which is gonna use more power, obviously. But I mean, it's fine. Energy speed. I wouldn't mind an anchor upgrade on you. So we're gonna need a diamond dust and two enriched alloys. Because I don't have my anchor up here yet. On this guy, at least. I have it in the other one, I think. Pretty sure I did. Now, everybody keeps telling me I can either right click or shift right click this into machines. Mm, maybe that only works on uh, the other machines. Still, don't matter. It's all good. We're getting coal now. Hey. Psst. That's nice. <laughs> Sweet. Coal ore for days. All right, you ready for my next trick? Hey, building gadgets. In surface mode. Coal ore. Oh, you want to see my new trick? This is a new one. Um, so as you guys know, phylogeny is, uh, is somebody who's been helping with... Uh, building gadgets work a little bit lately. Um, and I added the ability to hook into chests. Well, he recently added the ability to hook into an AE system. All you gotta do is bind it to literally any any block in an applied energistics uh, or refined storage system. And uh, you have access to the contents of that system. So check this out, right? So if I put down coal ore here and I set you to coal ore and we're gonna put you on surface mode Look, even though we don't have any coal ore in our inventory, right? So we have 900 coal ore. I do that. We have, you know, more. How cool is that, huh? So now we're going to place all that and vein mine. Ha 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 ha. How's that? Not too shabby. I'll take it. So there's your coal, buddy. How's that? So now can I have eight connectors? Because that would be super cool. Um, and we're also going to need some electromagnets, right? I want the transparent ones. And I know I'm going to need a lot. So I'm going to start with 100. Wow, we are short on lithium. Lithium, lithium, lithium. Where do we get lithium ingots from? Lithium. Uh, ingots. comes from lithium ore from nuclear craft. It's found in the overworld, 0.08%. Is it found anywhere in particular better? Mercury has a little bit more, but not by a significant margin. Io, Kelt. Let's see, F3H. Or dictionary entry, or lithium. Let's get more of this stuff too. Hopefully we find some in this area. New or dictionary or lithium. Save, nice. Yay, there is some coming in, cool. F3H to remove those hidden tool tips. And uh, hopefully, and I, and I think this is the case, right? Hopefully you can be quadrupled. Yes. Woo! All right, back in a few minutes once we get enough lithium more. All right, just running around collecting a little bit more lithium. Hopefully this will be a sufficient amount for what we need. And for now, I'm just gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is um, as we run into the need for more ores, I'll just, grab my digital miner and go get what we need from wherever, right? Because that thing's pretty good about the whole... Wait, really? That's it? I expected I would have had more ore in there. 
More lithium ore. I thought I would have had more. Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh well. Uh, do we have enough lithium now? We should be getting close. Uh, so if I want those electromagnets times 100. Yeah, we still need some more. I might have to go get more lithium back in a few. All right, I feel like that's a reasonable amount of lithium for now. I ran around the world and, you know, harvested a few more chunks worth of lithium. Uh, luckily, not too bad to, to get. Just, you know, took a little bit of time, that's all. So now we're cooking. Uh, let me get those electromagnets and I'll meet you guys back here. Are we close? Are we close to 100 of these? Eh, no crafting CPUs available. Oh, wow, you need a lot of crafting steps. All right, we have enough resources, we just don't have enough CPUs. But that's okay, because we can just do... 50 and 50. Well, maybe not. Do I only have 164K? Like, what do I got down here for crafting CPUs? Like, that's a question that I actually don't even know the answer to. Uh, I've got 116 and a few fours. How impossible would it be to get like three 64Ks at this point? Um, aside from a lack of crafting CPUs, not terrible. But that's probably because you're busy working on that stuff. I should look into doing that, to be fair. Do we have a crafting unit? Let me get three of those. And let me get... Um... Did you just use my 64k ME storage component? Oh, there we go. Okay, why'd you suddenly like lose connection? That's weird. Start that. Start that. And back in a few minutes. Device offline. What? You gotta be kidding me. What I might want to do. You shouldn't be struggling to maintain power, right? Right? Maybe I should throw like something on here. The only thing I can imagine is like we've got so many machines running that like this guy's lacking in power, and that's why he's he's dipping a little bit. But that shouldn't happen. I mean, we have a lot of machines running, to be fair. And I think some of them are the nuclear craft ones back here, which as we recall from previous experience. Actually, no, remember I hooked these up to their own channel. Uh, so that shouldn't be a problem. So power-wise, we should be kind of cool. We shouldn't be choking that much. So yeah, look, it just did it again. Ha! Is it you? Are you going crazy? I know you use a lot of power. Tough alloys, huh? Wow, we do have a lot of crafting to do for that. That is, in fairness, a lot of crafting. All right, I guess we'll just, uh, I mean, you guys are doing a lot, right? Like these guys all running is expensive. So that I get, all right? Basic smelting factory, yeah. I really need to get my power situated in this place. But I think the best way to solve this, or the easiest way to solve this right now, would be to literally just pop this guy on here, right? And he'll just feed power directly into that dude. And then technically, that shouldn't be needed no more. And, and even better, I'm going to put this guy... Now we're going to lose power. Right there. Cool. So now you're back online, and everybody's cool. Right? Yeah. Back in a few when all this crafting is done. Just gotta say, I love how fast. I love how fast this smelts. I mean, that is cool. All right, so the 50 fusion reactors are good. I am now going to replace these guys with 64Ks because it's about time we do that. Because we're getting to the point in the series where we need to craft more complex things. 100%. All right, uh, more electromagnets, please. So another 50. Actually, I can do the 100 now, I believe, right? We're short on redstone and we're short on boron. Probably should have been mining boron at the same time I was mining lithium, but that's, a, that's, 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 that's on me. I'll eat that, I'll, I'll, I'll take responsibility for that. So I'm gonna go get more of that stuff too. I've still got them in my inventory, nice, okay. Uh, and we're gonna get boron out of those places that we just got lithium. So I'll be back in a few. So I decided to just do all the nuclear craft ores. I don't know which ones I need more than any other, but we're just grabbing it all. 
So I'll just pop this guy down, grab all the ores. A little take acceleration never hurt anybody. That's not true. It definitely hurts things sometimes, so be careful with it. But <laughs> you get the point. Look, even though this thing's on its, its own dedicated line, it still did the thing where it stopped working. How crazy is that? I really have to figure out why you just all of a sudden stop working for no reason. That one block, just every time I log out and log back in, is stuck and doesn't receive power until I break and replace the cable. Weird. All right, guys, so let's figure out how to build a nuclear reactor. Now, I don't think I have quite enough electromagnets. Uh, believe it or not, I don't believe that I have enough still. Uh, I think I'm gonna need more than I currently have. But let's go start placing them and then we'll figure out how many more we need. Um, Cause I didn't actually math out what I need for electromagnets to work here, right? So you go down, that's our fusion core, right? So if you've watched the uh, Modern Skyblock series, you should recognize this thing just a little bit. Um, and if not, then you're about to get a little bit of a tutorial. Um, now the connectors here um, extend the range of the core. And I'm gonna put two down. I don't know that if I need two or not, or if just one's sufficient. I don't know if it makes a difference. It's it's not very clear on, on whether or not having a larger ring around this thing gives you more power. But we're gonna figure out what's what. Now, as I recall, these are tile entities, right? So I can't actually build and gadget my way into into them, right? Invalid block. Nope. No building gadgets for you, buddy. All right, so that means uh, no build to me functionality, which would have been cool. Now the electromagnets require power, uh, which we will which we will take care of momentarily. Okay, so that's the outer ring. Uh, or, or the inner ring of the electromagnets, right? Now what we need to do is something like this. Okay. Um, and then we need to do something like this. I really like how these are connected textures, by the way. And I just give a shout out to how nice that looks. All right, so we are going to need, roughly speaking, about 50 more, right? So let's just kick off that electromagnet craft of 50 more. And that should be close to what we need. Uh, we just need more redstone for that. Right, when I was mining, I should have grabbed redstone. I really should have. And I did a bad job of grabbing redstone. I should be able to get that from like right around here though. This is where I've been uh, doing a little bit of mining. Config or redstone? Sounds good to me. Start. Wow, there is a lot of redstone underground. Redstone for days. Mm -hmm. And I, I, this isn't exactly where I placed it before, so we must be running into another uh, thing of, of lithium and boron and whatnot. So around three to four is enough tick accelerations. Any more and I don't have enough power to handle it. Think we got enough redstone? I think we got enough redstone. Hey, redstone. Redstone or building gadget. Now we're cooking. Why are you building in such a weird way, building gadget? Why are you building in such a weird way? Place on top, fuzzy. Maybe it's because it's fuzzy? I don't know. It's being funny. I feel like it's building a little bit funny. Doesn't it feel like it's building a little bit funny? What if I did you in build to me mode? Huh. 
Is it just because it's Spreadstone? Maybe? Mm. Anyway, let me uh, get all this placed and we'll be right back. So I think uh, 10,000 redstone is, you know, sufficient. That works for now. <laughs> so let's get uh, let's get this last bit crafted here and we'll be right back. It's even more ridiculous when I only take accelerated this twice. I clicked twice with a time in a bottle. And it's, e <laughs> it's so good. Love it. Oh, Dyer geeks out when he gets a really fast machine. I just love it. I love machines that are like super ridiculous fast like this. Um, I totally geek out on it. Sweet. Now that's one little problem as we occasionally have is that um, this thing is set to pull from an adjacent machine uh, and he can sometimes pull the item out of the output of the interface. So that's something I have to keep an eye on. Uh, but I've got my electromagnets now, uh, which means we should go make it daytime so you guys can see what kind of fun I'm having. Um, and then we can come over here, right? So we're basically making a ring around this dude. And I'm pretty sure we'll get a notification on him. Uh, ring incomplete. So we should get notified. Actually, I didn't want to break that just yet. And I hope I have enough. Uh, we might be a little short. I might need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get like 10 more electromagnets. That shouldn't be too bad to make, right? Uh, 10 more of these, please. Should be cool. Nice and quick to do, right? Uh, I'll show you guys all the machines that I take accelerate to make this happen a little bit better. What's up? That guy's speeding along. This guy's speeding along for some steel. Alright, now you're cooking up those things. And the last thing you gotta do is your lead item casings. And that should be pretty darn close to done. Nice. Now we're just doing the tough alloys. Put that in there and you should be done. Nice. Ten electromagnets. Hopefully I counted correctly and this will give me a completed ring. Perfect. Perfect. E-magnets not powered. Okay, now we just gotta power these bad boys uh, with a decent amount of RF. So let's get some conduits here, All right? Uh, I probably want the good ones. So give me like a hundred of those if you wouldn't mind. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I would hope. Nice and quick. Love it. Loving it. Loving how quick it is. Right? How can you not love that? So we need to power all these magnets, right? So if I run a, a loop in here. Now this is actually like a little bit tricky to do in a decoratively good way. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what's up. Right, and then we need you here on Dial 20's network. And everybody should turn green once they have enough power. Okay, so that's that setup. That's not too bad. It's not bad at all. Now, I, I don't suppose that I can just do this, right? Dial 20's network. Oh, you do spread. Oh my. Hello, that's cool. Okay, so we don't need this conduit anymore. I'm pretty sure we needed that in Modern Skyblock, but maybe not. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. We've got a functioning fusion generator, but now we need to get fuel for it. So next episode, we'll work on the deuterium uh, and the... 
So that should be the inner ring and that should be the outer ring and you should be cool. I'm assuming you'll continue to spread, but if not, I might need to throw more. There might be a limit to how far he can go. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But yeah, for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.